Casey was the engineer. But have you heard the story of the bombardier? Casey Jr. was a gentleman's name. He's the fighting son of Casey, and his name is the same. They called a scramble, came at half past four. And Casey started out to even up the score. He mounted to the cabin with his orders in his hand, and he said to knock stuff and out of told Joe Land. Well, Casey Jones, he mounted to the cabin. Casey Jones with his orders in his hand. Casey Jones, he mounted to the cabin, set to knock stuff and out of told Joe Land. In Shangri-La, they got aboard the plane. The ceiling was high, not a sign of rain. They ripped up the motors and got set to go to pay an unexpected visit on Tokyo. In Clem Casey, he's the bombardier. Doolittle read the orders and they gave a cheer. For land to bear and hanging in the base below. Where some mighty pretty calling cars for Tokyo. They flew and they flew across the deep blue sky. With everyone among them had to do or die. And let me tell you people, the feeling was grand when they sighted up the targets over Tojo land. Now all of the sounds they ever heard that day. The sweetest one of all was bombs away. They strafed them in the harbor, the streets and in the square. And then they headed for a landing down you, you know where. Casey Jones was working for the nation. Casey Jones with his orders in his hand. Casey Jones was working for the nation. And he sent those monkeys to the promised land. 